What's up? My name is Rick Damon from Damon Strength Training. We are going to talk about our phase program. Our phase program starts ages 12 and above. Typically age 12, it just depends on the level they're at based off of their assessment when they come in for the free workout. If we feel that they can continue with the phase, then we will. Or we would begin them on the PFP, which is our progressive fitness program. Um, so our phase program is a little bit different, okay? If an athlete is able to come into an assessment and handle the body weight movements, you know, do some light kettlebell work, they can show us that they can uh, listen to our coaching cues, that they can pay attention, uh, and they can absorb information on a consistent basis through coaching and cues and correction. Um, then I think that we can get into the phase program because the difference between the phase program and the PFP program is obviously our ages, the maturation level, as well as can they handle a little bit of light weight. Now we're not lifting weights, okay? We're introducing movement pet patterns with a little bit of an external look, okay? For an example, so here's our workouts for our phase program. There's phase one, workout one, workout two, phase two, workout one, workout two, phase three, workout one, workout two, workout two. These athletes are on these workouts anywhere from four to six weeks. And basically what we do is we break down the movement patterns. We, we, uh, we teach them uh, what 1A and 1B is because we want them to know what all of this is. We don't, we're not gonna tell them every single time they come in here because our philosophy is we coach, you train. And by getting to that level, it's our job as a coach to be able to educate them on what this is. We don't just say, okay, grab a kettlebell five squats. We say, hey, we're gonna do kettlebell goblet squat. Four sets, six reps, four seconds on the way down, four seconds on the way up. As they start through this, the levels of weight being used will increase based off the athlete per athlete, okay? So the very first thing we do is, uh, when an athlete comes in, they change your shoes, always. We always ask them to bring a clean pair of shoes and the athlete will sign in at the iPad, fresh new Jordans, okay? They sign in the iPad and they come over here to the clipboards and where the folders are at, okay? Every athlete has a folder, the manila folders are the phase athletes. We always ask an athlete, grab a clipboard, grab your folder. The folders are based off of alphabetical order by last name. We have them grab workout one of the phase one. Folder goes on the clipboard, paper goes on top. And I always ask them to grab a pen. This is the very first thing they do when they walk in the gym. Once they come in the gym, they do this process. Then they bring the um, a clipboard over to this rail. The athlete puts the clipboard on the rail and it just lets us know, the coaches, that, okay, here's the athletes that we have on the clipboard. As soon as the, um, the hour hits, we always start on the hour, the warm up starts. The coach runs the warm up. Once the warm up ends, the, co the, the coaches assign the athletes to where they need to be distributed. The athlete grabs the clipboard, and we always come up to the rail, okay? Usually, the coaches are on the floor waiting. Athletes come up. The athlete knows, okay, he's gonna grab a 30 pound kettlebell. I say grab a 30 pound kettlebell, let's get to work. As he's getting his stuff, I'm talking to them. You got kettlebell golf as well. We're gonna do six reps. The tempo is gonna be an eight second tempo every single squat. Once we finish 1A, we're gonna move to 1B, okay? First thing we do is I tell the athlete to put the kettlebell on the, down, on the floor. I ask the athlete to move their feet back. And I ask it, and, and we teach the athlete how to pick the kettlebell up appropriately instead of having a bad posture, getting hurt, trying to teach them good habits. So we grab the bell, we swing it through, we pull it up tight. Good. Our feet are set. The bell's tight to our body. Okay? Trunk's tight. And I start coaching the athlete. If I say to the athlete, give me six reps, this is what six reps would look like if there's no guidance. Right? Not good. So what we do is we pack it in tight. Feet set, trunk tight, and I start giving the tempo. Here we go. Four, three, good, pack everything in tight. Two, pinch those knees, pause, up slow. Four, three, two, good, back down slow. Four, three, two, right there. Last one, up slow. Four, three, pinch the knees, trunk tight, shoulder blades pinch. Good, excellent, put the kettlebell down. By doing the tempo and adding the tempo of these movements, it allows us to coach, cue, and correct, and it makes this athlete better and quicker and faster. Thank you. If you're looking to change your lifestyle, 
Please contact Damon Strength Training by visiting our website at damonstrength.com. Thank you.